Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We could be jumping to another session of Epic 7L today. Got some more Guild War for you guys. And as always, before we begin, we have our joke of the day. Uh, waiter, my soup is cold. The waiter responded, it's gazpacho. Gazpacho, my soup is cold. <laughs> I feel like that is the most uh, American way of responding <laughs> to something like that. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go ahead and jump into this uh, first battle here. Now, the first fight, we're fighting against the Lilius, Meru, and Bellion. So, hopefully, things will go according to plan. Uh, we have Bunny Dom here to counter the C. Lilius, so she will be doing the Spez thing, the funny thing. I think we'll have to get rid of Meru first, um, and then try to Spez her, uh, extinct her, so she can't come back. And then we can deal with the Bellion, because I think we, we should be able to stun her with Solitaria and with Spez, right? We should, we should. And Spez is tanky enough that he can live a couple of AoEs, so that is fine. Uh, I've been really enjoying this team, and I really just want to make it work, and so, yeah, let's try not losing any of our units this time around. Uh, for the bottom team, though, we are definitely going experimental with this. Uh, typical Lua, Shu, and Senya. So we're bringing in Rowana for the sustain, and I'm using her imprint release for the team, so that it gives Bad Cat Armin a little bit more in terms of... Uh, her bulk. She's already pretty bulky at 20k HP, uh, and she has a ton of effectiveness. We get even more from Champion's Trophy, so hopefully we'll be able to provoke some of these guys. Now I know we're probably going to be slept by the Lua and everything, uh, but every time she gets hit, there's a chance for the frontline unit to counterattack. So we have Charles here, and I gave him my highest Elbrus that I have imprinted, which is plus 21. So hopefully he will be able to do some work on uh, on these guys here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what we can do. Battle's in progress. And that should be no problem. It's a main tower after all. There's plenty of health. Okay, so turn order is great. The Meru and the Bellion are actually really slow, which I do appreciate. Uh, so Bunny Dom can go ahead and pop her S3. Only a Spez has the attack down, but we're going to cleanse that given the attack buff anyway. And I think what we'll do is we'll just stun this Meru. We could have stunned the Bellion, but I think Meru... I think we lost to her in the last go or something like that. I don't remember, but... <laughs> not going to risk it again. Alright, here we go. There we go, beautiful, extincted, and let's uh, sleep the C. Lilia so she can't dual attack. Bellion is going to AoE, but everyone still has their immunity buff, which is quite nice. There we go, very good. And now let's just try to stun with Solitaria. We do have a Abyssal Crown. Ah, oh, but we got the C. Lilia stun. Hey, I'll take it, I'll take it. Let's go for the S3 here. It's gonna be quite a clean match, isn't it? Beautiful. Okay. Let's see if we can. She is asleep. Oh, sorry. She is blinded, but now she's asleep. Okay. Ooh, nice little stun there. Can Spez outspeed the Bellion? I think we can, because she has speed down. Ah, oh, yes. And here we go. What a clean match. Absolutely beautiful. There you have it. One, two, three. That's all you need. Okay, second second match here. Alright, I took the skin off Charles, because I do actually like his original outfit. Ooh, he got the counter-attack buff. Very nice, but unfortunately no extra attack. That's a very tanky Lua at 20k HP. Beguile doing some shenanigans here, but that's okay. We typically don't use Bad Cat Armin's uh, S3. Typically you go for the S1, and you try to get, okay, or just get triple misses, I guess. Um, that's also fine. Like I was saying, typically you would use her uh, S1 to get AoE provokes. I think Bad Cat Armin's in trouble though. Uh, <laughs> I think she's in a little bit of trouble. Come on, Charles, you can do it. I know you're blinded. Oh, there you go. Get the strip. Nice. Very, very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and pop Rowana's healing. 
Uh, I am on Celestine with Rowana, but um, don't think she's going to be popping that off uh, very much. There we go. Got the Elbrus. Missed. No extra attack. Come on. Come on now. Come on, Charles. Oh no, this is not looking too good. It's not looking too good. Can we get any stuns? No. Oh, we do revive. But, oh, we do get defense broken too. No, Bad Cat Armin. Okay, but Charles. Come on, Charles. We got this. We got this, buddy. You can do it, Charles. I'm gonna get that counter attack so we can get pushed up. We can kind of heal a little bit. Okay. Can Charles do this? I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. The Begala stuff's all fine. I'm just not a huge fan of the fact that Senya keeps uh, blinding me. I'm actually surprised that Senya has a blind. Whenever my Senya does her shenanigans, uh, <laughs> I only ever get a provoke. Okay, come on, Charles. Let's do it. Oh, come on. You can't miss two in a row. That's 50-50. Okay, Charles, come on, you crit the Senya, very good. Uh, at least we hit there, we didn't miss. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and hit the shoe. Hope that she counters me. Nope, no counter there. She does crit, oh, but the foosh is gonna hurt. All right, at least everyone's attacking Rowana for right now. I do hope that I get some uh, procs here. Wow, she's gonna blind the Charles head again, right? Yep, there you go. And there's actually blind a Rowana, which I find insane. This must be a effectiveness uh, Senya, because my Rowana has 170-180 resist, something like that. So for her to get blinded by Senya is kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and heal here with Celestine and the uh, proc. By the way, Charles has not even popped his S3. He just hasn't really taken a turn at all. <laughs> He's gonna get provoke locked by the Senya unless... Okay, we, we couldn't strip there, which is unfortunate. We do get double counters, though. Celestine doing work. Nice, Charles. Through the blind, as expected of my man. There you go. Getting rid of that shoe, too. We got this. Come on, Charles. <laughs> what a risky, what a risky match. Who's the better shoe? Shoe or Charles? Come on, we got the Elbrus proc again. Oh, one more time. One more time. Oh, Charles! <laughs> we did it. We did it. There you go. Now, unfortunately, Charles is still blind. Still has not popped his S3, but hey, we don't need that. As long as we can counter, right? That's all you need. Okay, and then Lua's doing her shenanigans, but now we can finally, finally use Charles and his S3. Uh, or, no, or not. <laughs> Wait, we're getting reset, but that's fine. Alright, now no longer blinded. Fantastic. Is Charles ever going to be able to pop his S3? Let's see. Oh my gosh, probably not. Look at this Lua. Lua's making it so Charles can't even go. Oh my gosh, Charles, resist. Resist. You got S3, buddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's, that's ridiculous. Alright, well, finish her off. There you go, Charles. Good work. Good work. That's my man. Charles is probably my favorite character, uh, favorite male character in E7, by far. Just look at his design, absolutely dapper. Alright guys, it's time for match number two, so we're going to be taking on this middle tower here, and it looks like the second team has been giving people some problems. Uh, hopefully we can take care of it with this, now it's not the best team, however, mm. I, I want to try to make it work, mostly because I haven't used Maiden in a while. Now, we're gonna, getting ahead of ourselves. The top team here, we have C. Lilius, Ed, and Shu. So what I'm going to bring is uh, Ahmed. She's going to be on Unfading Memories for a little bit of healing. And I'm going to bring Rylet to try to snipe down this Ed as soon as possible. 
uh, if I can do it or not, that's, um, I, I don't know if I can, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, Charles is also going to be here to take out this shoe. We're going to see who the better uh, shoe is at the end of this uh, Guild Wars. And of course we have Ron, Senya, and Meru. So with this, I think I'm going to bring in the maid. I could actually bring in... Um, Rowana, but I think Maid is going to be quite nice here. She has pretty decent stats, and she can cleanse the team of Ron's debuffs. Uh, we're going to bring in Ed so that he can kind of just uh, take care of the the Meru, and eventually the Senya. He can also reflect back some of the uh, damage that Ron's going to be inflicting with his debuffs. And we have Karina over here, who's going to just help us chip away at our opponent. Uh, over time. She's gonna be the tank tanking on uh, Senya's hits. So I think we'll be okay. Maid has a revive anyway, so if things go south, then we can rely on that. Um, let's see how it goes. I just didn't want to use Destina here, because we always use Destina. It's time to change things up a little bit. See what we can uh, accomplish. Alright, so she's always going to go into the Rylet, and I'm going to push up the team here. Oh, actually, I just noticed a problem, and the problem is that Rylet might not actually be fast enough uh, to, to take the turn before Ed or Shu, right? Oh no! Hang on now. Shu's going to break the skill knolls. We do get uh, Elbrus proc, which is quite nice. We can get the extra hit. Nice. There we go. Strip those buffs. Perfect. Ed's always going to go into Charles. Actually, this is fine. This is fine. This is not fine. That's a lot of damage into Charles. Oh my god. Come on, Charles. Do it. Extra. Strip. Yeah, we hit, we hit the Ed. Very, very nice. Got rid of the anti-crit buff. So this is perfect, because now I can go right into the Ed here. And hopefully, Rylet can finish him off. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Rylet! No! <laughs> um. <laughs> he Did he just get crit three times in a row? <laughs> Ah, uh, um, right, let's go ahead and pop Charles's S3. We're gonna Soul Burn to get the extra turn duration. Um, yeah, cause we're gonna, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need this, um, defense buff, for sure. Ahmed, please don't, don't go down. Oh no, see, Lilius is gonna take her out. Is Charles gonna be able to do this? I don't, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Oh, because she crits, she crits the Charles. Come on, Charles. Charles has no healing in his kit. This is pretty much over now. Oh, what a shame. We gotta protect Charles at all costs. So is this one and one? Oh my god. Come on, finish him off. Finish off the shoe. Oh, with the attack down, it's gonna be so hard. Yeah, I don't think we can do this. Oh, what pain. What pain. Alright, it's 1-1 one, one so far. Let's see if we can find another shoe somewhere. Hopefully the third tower has a shoe. But there goes, there goes that match. Alright, hopefully this one goes a little bit better. Uh, and I say that as he procs RNL, so that's fantastic. Okay, at least we get the equivalent exchange. Good, no magic for friends proc. Then Ron gets to go. Ooh, look at that, that hurts. Okay, Karina gets, to... oh my god, another RNL. Yo, this Ron is absolutely disgusting, man. What if Ed dies? Oh my god. All right, let's go ahead and hit the Ron here. We'll get some splash damage onto Meru at least. Okay, there we go. Very nice. We get to heal up with Ed Sigurd. Oh my god, that was absolutely disgusting. How much RNG can these people get? Alright, Senya's gonna proc, or sorry, pop her S3. Get a nice little equivalent exchange, heal up some health again. Take the other turn, get rid of the Meru. 
And I think we are good. We didn't even need Maid <laughs> to do anything. All this stuff happened before Maid even took her turn. That is hilarious. Alright. So now, we can just use Karina. And Karina could 1v1 the Senya too. Because uh, we have our artifact on her. Yeah, see how much damage the, the Rocket Punch Gauntlet does? Alright, there you go. Ooh, never mind! It is a Holy Sack Senya. Ooh, it has effectiveness too! Alright, it's not really gonna matter. <laughs> because we get a dual attack there. And we actually did, um, because it's built on effectiveness, it has no effect res. So we were able to Defense Breaker with Karina's S1. Alright, I'll take it. Alright guys, it is now time for the third and final match of this Guild War. Unfortunately, this guy down here did not have a shoe in his defense team. But, uh, yeah, instead of your typical Lua Senya Shu, we are facing off against a Rylet. Uh, and my brain right now is saying, bring Doris, it's fine. <laughs> Charles can definitely DPS down everybody, right? Right? Uh, anyway, we're bringing Krau against this Senya to kind of tank her. I think Karina might also be a pretty decent option here, but Karina doesn't have Aureus, and I really want Doris to be able to tank this Rylet head-on, so we're going to need Krau's Aureus for that. Uh, Charles, of course, you guys know. Same stats here. Maybe if I changed his uh, outfit, he would uh, perform a little bit better. So let's put on his little vampire hunter outfit thing. Look at that. Demon hunter, sorry. Yeah, look at that. Uh, we're going to change his expression because he must be dazzling at all times. There we go. Look at that little blush under his uh, under his eyes. Absolutely beautiful, Charles. Okay, so we're going to have him uh, going up against my opponents there. Now for the bottom team, I'm actually going to showcase my Flurry. Uh, Falconer Clary, one of my favorite uh, units in the game from the start. Uh, one of my very first units, too. So, 245 speed on Revenge set, she will be quite nice in terms of uh, provoking the Aiden and not letting her go and nuking my units. We're going to have DJB to help push up the team, and hopefully Wanda uh, will be able to, to one-shot the Aiden and solo everybody here. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but <laughs> we're going to have to see, right? <laughs> so let's see if it actually pans out. All right, here's the here's the scary part. Uh, oh, actually, Charles. Oh, no extra hit from the Charles, but that was cool. Getting some Elber's procs here. All right, uh, everyone resisted that, thankfully. But now Doris does get woken up, which is nice. I hope this is not an effectiveness, Senya. Please, please don't be an effectiveness, Senya. Uh, Charles? Oh, double miss, but we're doing a lot of damage to the Rylet. Half his health is gone. I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, whoa, it is an effectiveness, Senya. That's pretty bad, actually, because Doris got provoked. I really could not afford to have the Doris provoked, although we did strip, so that's good. Oh, the defense break, too. Oh, Doris going down! Yeah, no, we could not afford to have that happen. That is very unfortunate, actually. Um, Alright, well, Charles, it is up to you. Let's see if you can actually do it. Oh my god, my crowd's getting debuffed by this Rylet, too. Come on, Charles, let's do it. Is there another, is there another proc? There is no other proc. That is very unfortunate. Crow is getting super low. Actually gonna get put to sleep here. Ooh, Rylet might actually solo my teams. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Um, oh, the extra hit onto the crowd! Oh, I don't think we can do this. Rylet's gonna be... Oh, he's not actually healing. It might not be a lifesteal crowd. Wait a minute. Um, there we go. Come on, Charles. You can do it. Come on, Charles. I believe. I believe, Charles. We're blind. We're blind, but can we do it? Extra attack? Extra attack, Charles? Oh, <gasps> Charles, can you do it? You did it, buddy! Okay. Come on. We we gotta we gotta do this. We gotta get the defense buff up. We can do this. Uh we have over a thousand health, right? 
we crit here, which is beautiful. Um, please, please don't hit. Okay, thank you. Counter, Charles. <laughs> Charles, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. We just need a little bit of RNG on our side. We didn't crit the Rila one time, but you know what? We did it. Okay, DJB taking a lot of damage, actually, from the Zeo. Um, hopefully not dying to the Ron. Oh, very close, but not quite. Let's push up everybody. Now, do I actually need to um, use Falconer's... S3 on this Aiden, I don't think so, but perhaps just in case we do it, right? We do it just in case. If Aiden lives, it'll be a huge problem. All right, we do get Gab. Ooh, that's quite good, but let's go for this. Hit the Aiden. Beautiful. Uh, let us go for a hit to break the skill null. DJB is going to be going down, but Flurry is the only valid target for Zeo. Oh, that's a lot of damage though. I don't really like that. I'm going to have to keep hitting the Zeo. Um, maybe we hit this too. We just one shot the Ron, get him out of the way. Come on, Falconer, you can live this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, Falconer went down. Oh, I don't think Wanda can live the Zeo, though. Oh, that's such a shame. We weren't able to do it. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I'll make sure Wanda lives there. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. You know what? Charles put up a good fight, though. Uh, I actually was kind of expecting to win this one over the other, but... Maybe we should have done something different with Falcon or Clurry, right? Uh, if Wanda was going to proc the gab, then we probably should have provoked somebody else. Um, but yeah, anyway. I think in the end, that was quite good. With that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below Let me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.